All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Assassination Classroom, Season 1, Episode 4. All right, we've been introduced to the mm -hmm. bestest of, of boys. Yep, Mr. Karma. Uh, Mr. Karma. And that was quite wonderful. Yes. I feel like this show was a lot of like good, wholesome fun and whatnot, but that was where it really went into a lot of the more serious stuff. Right, and I assume on some level that is going to be like above average, but also par for the course. Uh -huh. Meaning that a lot of these characters, these students, are going to get a lot of introspection yep. and depth uh, focused on not only their past, but why they're here and where they're going. Yeah, so, and how Koro Sensei can help them. Yes, specifically that as well. Um, now, how are they going to move things forward with Nagisa? I think in some I ways are we know. going to get kind of a drip feed of continual Probably. development for him? That's or... that's what I would guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. So they maybe focus on some new students here. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of stuff built up with regards to the school that they were all cast out of. Basically, that is true. That so is true. Yeah. Maybe and, we could get a little focus there. Mm -hmm. And theoretically, we could get new students from there as often as the show wants. You know, since it's Potentially. since it's as kind of like a demotion. You know, I cast you out, kind of a thing. Sure. Um, I, I would say, if anything, we I, I wouldn't want to get too many though. Yeah, we already have plenty of characters. We already have plenty. Is. Exactly. Yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. New teaching job? Wait. Ooh. Wow. Her voice sounds familiar. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is no lesson two. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, just like uh, in Onizuka, you need to have the really busty teacher come in, you know, a bit later. And Right, right. Okay, so we are getting a new character, but it's yeah, not, not going to be a student. <laughs> Still hanging on him. Yep. A knockout and knockers, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> I hate her already. Oh my god. What's the seduction color? Bewilderment. <laughs> so much shading. Oh, oops, there it is. Ah, okay, all right. <clears throat> Keep those tentacles in plain view. What? <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> but that's bringing up in Koro Sensei's backstory, you know, mm -hmm. these kind tentacles. Just hire an assassin. We also need to hire an English teacher. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm fluent in 10 languages, right. so. English is no problem. Wow. So, is she there to teach them also assassination techniques? Maybe. Or is she supposed to make it easier by just killing... <laughs> Through his perspective, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. So the question is, is she getting him as a mark, though? Like, does she have to try and kill him? I think so. That seems to be what they're saying. But see, that doesn't make sense. Why would they have the students do it at all? Like, why would they have be involved? Why not have just a professional assassin do it? Are the kids distractions for her, or is she is distraction for the kids? Miss Yelavich. Miss Bitch! Oh! Wow! <laughs> yeah, so what are you but your kids? Brent, she's I'm going to put those BBs all oh. over myself. What? What? I'm pretty sure that breaks some kind of like, uh. Ka -ka -ka combo! Uh... 
Uh, oh, the guys are suddenly like, yes, I hate I have so have. much intel now. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Really? Even the guys? Are you sure? No, 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 like, like, this is the thing. I, I feel like there's another motive involved here. Wow, they really are doing that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Doing the, doing the wall. Whoa! Wow! Oh! It's stuck. Ah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> also, okay, that was hilarious. You are a wonderful assassin for telling everyone you're an assassin. I mean, they could just mm -hmm. like why try and hide it? <laughs> Certainty. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, I have to assume that, like, they, they are not actually trying to kill him there. This is something more of training for the kids. When you have ultimate power, I mean, you might not worry about falling for things. Oh, so maybe he doesn't know exactly why she's here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man. Great. You're also in the line of fire if he dodges, though. I hope you realize. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if it's the BBs and stuff. It's gonna take you a minute? Jeez. <laughs> Oh, she, she's going out of the line of fire yep, so that she yep, doesn't get hit? Exactly. Yep. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, so maybe it does hit him, but because there's right. nothing that... So Whoa. she also doesn't do her research. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> muda muda dance. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay, so he does have smell, basically. <laughs> Alright. Yes! <laughs> Not adaptable. Mm -hmm. Aha! What if this was actually all encouragement for the students to be like, sure? Care and grooming. Oh my god, of course they would do this! Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh huh. <laughs> She's getting groomed. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. What? <laughs> oh my god. How are the boobs? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's never shown that face wow. before! Wow. <laughs> what? What? And she had like the weak knees uh -huh. thing going yeah, on. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this show. Because, because, why not? Why, why, you know, worry about pretenses? <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! 
This is awesome! Boobs go home! <laughs> Down with big boobs! Yeah. <laughs> Oh! 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 Okay. What a guy! That must be hell to study for. But he's just doing everything so fast. It's mm -hmm. it's not as tough, really. Nice. And yet. Yep. Yep. あの怪物のせいで生まれたこの奇妙な教室でも誰もが二つの立場を両立していて、お前はプロであることを強調するな。もし暗殺者と教師を両立できないなら、Right。で、you're <笑> How she decides to approach this from here on out. Right. You're incredible in bed. Repeat. <laughs> you are incredible in bed. Bed.での君はすごいよ。中学生になって文章を読ませんなら。Wow. is probably 100% true. Yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. But sweet talking is a helpful thing in this setup here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? John? Jack Sparrow! <laughs> okay. Then I'll snipe you from 200 meters. No. Uh, cool, cool. Okay. Putting the choice in their hands. Nice. She's also teaching them by showing them how to do a proper apology. <laughs> and that was a classic blush. Uh, oh, damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, cool. Then Karma from the back is like, I'm totally still calling her that. It was, that's true. But she was being... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, we're totally sticking with that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. Welcome, bitch sensei! Otherwise, they'll stay closed off from the rest of the world, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, wait, it was just a bit obvious. Well, uh, I'll see for the discussion, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I think he was bringing up the idea was that, um, by the nature of him making this request to teach this class, mm -hmm. he knew that eventually they would have to start filling it in with adults who would have to have a oh, reason to be there. Who would actually be competent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And because they would also be there to be assassins to help with killing right. him, or necessarily help train the kids in some art of assassination... Right. They, the kids they would, would be properly being taken care of, properly as being opposed to just some throwaway teacher. Well, mm -hmm. well, right, but it's that they would have to do a legitimate form of teaching in order to be approved by Koro Sensei. Sure. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he's like, no, that wasn't a part of the deal. You can have them, you know, come in here and watch over the grounds, but I'm the one that's teaching. So Koro Sensei doesn't have a possessiveness uh, with regards to like all the teaching work. Like he's letting Karu Karusuma, uh, Karusuma do the PE work, mm -hmm. um, and he's letting her do a bunch of the English work, which means right. that 
it's more about the act of him being able to do the teaching at all rather than him being the one that does all of it because the people mm-hmm. they would bring in would be good for the kids. So right. it's like him saying, I want what's best for the kids. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right. We okay. got ourselves a uh, bitch sensei. Bitch sensei. All I, right. I never thought that an anime would do something like this. Um, yep. But you know what? Here we go. And we Here use we the English swear word for the English teacher. It yep. just it it, fits. It, you it know? makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. Um, um, I am... I am like so, I am quite astonished also with just like mm. how uh fan servicey in a in oh, a sure. in uh-huh. a comedy way yeah. this show I mean uh, did this episode. You bring but, in you bring in the the super busty, you know, female character with the the low cut top and the I will seduce my way into assassinating this person which by the way I do not buy at all her actually being a pro like without right, how right. it's portrayed we are, like, we are oh my told God. we are told it but we but are not shown we are not it. shown it. We are not other shown than it. her art of seduction being quite good i, I would say sure. it's yeah. quite good. yeah yeah the, and and the whole thing of her knowing the different languages and stuff and using that for the teaching i love that, that that's great that right was, but that the idea really that cool. she wouldn't have known about the special weapons that would right. be necessary in order to kill him yeah and then also, and she would dismiss the information that she was given about how he works and stuff right. and wouldn't do research and would just sort of do a cookie cutter thing after one day as opposed to actually like spending about a spending week a week there. or a month you know setting up and whatnot since right probably would have been described yeah. that guns don't normally work you know and right in, in some ways what it is is to show that we have an episodic episode structure mm-hmm. to this story for the majority of the plot and when we're bringing in a new character, we need to quickly introduce them. We can't sit around and let them yep. do, you know, just whatever while they're setting up their assassination right. plot. And, and in a lot of cases, yeah. it's it's also world building because of the whole thing of bullets melting inside Koro Sensei. We I had no idea that yeah. was how it worked. Okay, cool. You know. Yeah. Um. And and given that we're on a timetable, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for oh, at the end of this, you know, like school year or whatever, I'm gonna destroy the earth, having this character wait for a month you know to assassinate right. them while they set everything up yeah from the story sense that would uh take a while yeah it's also a bit redundant that she's here at all but mm-hmm. i like the angle that karasuma brought up at the end of the episode in that wait a mm. minute yeah the reason why she's here is because naturally the government would want right another assassin involved in this so they bring one of the best right but the fact that she's now stuck here as a teacher mm-hmm. seems to be exactly what he wanted. Right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Why is he really doing this? Yep. And I think that that's the, that's the point in which the show has very well established in that his motivations are not so simple as mm-hmm. what he's been said to want to do. Right. And there is a little bit more to it beyond uh the uh i'm going to destroy the world right. after i uh because because his actions his school year right because his actions certainly don't back that up yep. now now his actions previously that we haven't like seen in detail ourselves as the audience but the rest of the world i'm sure has then sure yeah but like well the only thing we know is the moon That's right it. we know the moon and and but for everything else it could just be that we don't like what we don't understand and which in makes fact sense. it scares us in 50 you know mach 20 is you know really fast and all that 50 government officials can't be wrong yeah right right um so mm-hmm. well we got bitch sensei we we have bitch sensei i i, I i'm I really glad this that as name approval. Stuck. yeah I, I consider this as approval from the show that we can just call her that as much yep. as we want mm-hmm. but you know that's right that's still just a little weird for me um the uh amount of shots though that we did in this shows oh this yeah episode specifically Focusing to be like right let's on let's, her get as, legs, let's get you know, as, as she, jokingly like, as we can with hentai as this oh yeah as possible. yeah the well, well the massage think, bit the massage bit which okay the, the uh what is it the the what's the what's the what's the movie there are so many movie references in this one but the perfect instinct the the crossing of the legs one with the blonde girl that like she legendary like flashes everyone trying to remember what that is oh but i can't it's like remember perfect in- instinct or something like that but anyway uh-huh. anyway that Ultra was that was funny maybe? no no, no. Oh. Uh, um but then also just the johnny depp like oh, yeah. jack sparrow yep. thing there. Yep. Just like- yep. 
uh -huh. is a show. <laughs> and and the whole idea that like in the case of say the massaging and all that stuff, right? We knew that it was going to be something totally regular and all that stuff. Right. But no no no, we can't see it. No. We can't see it. No, of course. And then not. there are all these sounds, of course. And then even when we go in and show it, it still has to be something where when it's shown, <laughs> it's still shown in a way that's very fan service. Oh my right? god. The like, fact that we got a new Koro Sensei face out of this, I think, is that, very much worth it. Oh man. It's that was wonderful. So wonderful. That was absolutely He's like, incredible. Grown ups need a uh, grown up care after all. They're like, hold the what, but, what? Koro Sensei. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just saying, man. <laughs> yep. Um, hey, hey, nothing in his contract said anything about people outside of the of students. students. That, that is very true. It's your own dang fault, that, that is very true. not thinking about this. Although, although, I mean, he's demonstrated a toothbrush before when he said that he was going to, you know, give good care to people. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. It makes me a little bit worried, but... Um, <laughs> But I'm, one of the things I'm really curious to see is that given her personality is um, particular, shall yes, we say. very. Like, you know, they did that whole, like, blush thing and all that stuff with the apology towards the end. Mm -hmm. But but Which was genuine, I think. I'm, I'm not buying the dare on this son at all. The, the bitch sensei name very much fits. Yes. Um, but how is she going to interact with Koro sensei from here on out? Because the whole idea of the oh, yeah, I sidle up to you and, you know, and all that stuff. And he he definitely appreciates that. Mm, that dynamic yeah. doesn't seem like it will continue since now the facade is dropped of, yeah, I'm also an assassin, No, no, right? I, I, I disagree. I think, oh, if yeah? anything, he'll very much enjoy the presence of a beautiful woman, Oh, 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 definitely. But, he will definitely enjoy it. Right. But she doesn't have any reasons to try and keep seducing him since it's already right. been established that that doesn't work. Well, or, well or maybe, no, what, it did she, work. Oh, so it did saying, work. So you're saying, right, because she's... she's the, that's such, the joke of her character now. Right. Is she, that she's going to, every <laughs> once in a while, try to seduce him, and yeah. he'll be like, <laughs> and she'll, her knees will quiver a little bit, and she'll be like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is such a professional, adaptable assassin that she will try the same thing, just, you know, actually use the BB bullets or whatever. Or or team up with the students. In a seduction? No, no, in the <laughs> act of assassination. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I just... Uh, <laughs> Even as a joke, I couldn't take that. I'm sorry. But uh, so, so in this situation here, we uh, now have another character in the dynamic that can shift things up a lot because, right. with as far as the students go, they kind of move as one unit. Like Karma will throw his his little comments in there, but yeah, you know, but, especially now. Oh, she kind of oh, united yeah. them if you think about it. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, mm -hmm. like they weren't united in the first episode. Nope. Second episode, there wasn't any proof to the contrary. Mm -hmm. Third episode here, everyone dislikes uh, Yelovich or right. uh, Bitch Sensei. <laughs> and and one of the things that we have seen from the students so far is that we've seen that they they coordinate when it's like they all attack Koro Sensei. Right. And then when it's as far as the assassinations, it'll usually be like two, maybe three people where one person's distracting him while one Trying person tries idea. to knife him or something like yeah. that, right? But we haven't gotten in, into anything crazy elaborate. And now mm -hmm. that she's here, maybe she will actually start teaching them like, okay, the whole knife behind the back thing is great, but we gotta get a bit more- um, Elaborate. Elaborate with yep. this, right? And that I would love to see where it's like some crazy heist thing, right? Yeah, it's a where whole they, episode. Oh yeah, a whole episode. They set up all this stuff for one and, thing. And yeah. it's like, all right, the first condition has been cleared. The second yep, yep, condition exactly. has been cleared, right? And, and then it's a game of how is this going to fall apart? At what point right. is it going to be going perfectly? And then all of a sudden, Koro Sensei just blips away or, or, or whatever. Or they get him to do exactly what they want, but mm -hmm. their own inadequacies come out and it doesn't right. make it work. And then it ends mm -hmm. up becoming a teaching moment where they're like, yep. but, mm -hmm. but Koro Sensei, like, uh, sure. So like, yeah. oh, 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 like, don't yeah. cry, you this, know? This is a high pressure job for the kids, even right. though it's being done yeah. in a fun environment. If they're putting their all into this, right. they could get very frustrated with each other of oh like, God, why yeah. did you screw up that thing, Johnson? You know, it was a simple thing to do, right? Johnson. Yeah, I don't know. You know, <laughs> private pile. You know? Like, and and then and then that could be a teaching moment where they come to understand each other as That's well good. as, you know, learning how to work together to try and take down Koro yes. Sensei. Mm -hmm. Um 
we got to see, I would say, uh, Nagisa have probably one of the most awkward situations that he's been in mm -hmm. other than really the situation that Koro sensei put uh bitch sensei in mm -hmm. but uh that really was like i mm, that yeah. that was that was a little bit awkward and in a way that i i wonder if based on what the little things we've gotten with nagisa mm -hmm. if this is more of just a thing to showcase that nagisa has been bullied a lot in the past sure you know that well, and he ends up becoming a target sometimes just totally mm -hmm. by being like like profiled right. or something like that but how did she know that yeah. nagisa had info assumed on Koro that Sensei? she did some information gathering before she came in i don't know but but she yeah. knew his full name that's true that's true that's a so, little unnerving mm -hmm. yeah well, one of the things that, that she did in the beginning that I thought was really good that was brought up is that she was doing a lot of the same stuff that the other teachers at the school did that, you know, were like, oh, yeah, those class E students, they're terrible and all that stuff, right? right? So, it, you know, yes, that was an aspect of her personality, but as far as also what the students themselves are dealing with, it was relevant, right? Mm -hmm. Which also then makes sense why they stuck to the moniker of bitch sensei because it's like, you don't just get a free pass out of that nope. one, right? We nope. remember that, you know? We will remember this, yeah. yep. Um, so sorry you're stuck with the name exactly yeah. you know maybe maybe eventually there will be some development moment where one of the the students actually calls her by her real name and it'll she'll be like huh, am i finally getting out of it you know like but yeah there was one student that called her teacher at, at uh, some point right. when they were thinking mm -hmm. about should we actually like call her that I yeah but it just it rolls off the tongue it's, it's perfect <laughs> but and, and god bless you akagane for coming up with that because yep. mm -hmm. that yeah yeah that was pretty funny and also the the whole pronunciations of the letter b versus the letter v mm. in japanese things not lost on us that was that was uh that was yeah. funny yeah but i'm i'm curious to see what they do with her as a character because she could totally just be sort of like the the token like I think i'm the sexy is. fan service character you know i think she um, is for now yeah because because at least on that angle it is really awkward when anime will be like, let's use these really young characters, especially when it's like before even high school, right? Mm -hmm. For fan service scenes, it's like, no, can, can you not, please? Well, she's not. Right, right. No, exactly. Right. right. And that's, yeah. And and it's... I think it's more the, the awkward, you're saying it's the awkward thing of how Nagisa was essentially just exactly. sexually assaulted. Yes. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. And, and, well, and it... It, and it's not even the fact so much that that happened, but it's the fact that it wasn't commented on really, and there didn't seem to be much too much purpose behind it as far as she was concerned. Like, yes, she wanted to get information, you know? Right. And I guess that was sort of like an incentivizing it's factor. It's a dominance for, thing. Well, yeah. a dominance thing, but then also to the other guys in the class present. Like, hey, if you do get any information, make sure you bring it to me, you know, like yeah. kind of a thing. But I think it's just that this, this, this show is a little bit older and it's got a couple little like anime trope things that it does yeah that, you know the, you know. the, the fan service kind of stuff where it's just it's there right yeah, it's there um yeah but, but yeah hey i mean we've got the whole establishment of her character basically just done and set up here right so now it's just the question of how does she fall into the dynamic here on out exactly yes yeah. so, I'm, I'm curious to see that yeah so y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. You can also talk with Jacob about the sci-fi novel that he wrote. Yep. I wrote a book. It's called Battle Lines. It's on Amazon for purchase. Link in the description down below. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.